everybody, I screwed up. I left my knife out with water on it last night and it's a carbon steel knife so now it's rusty. I'm gonna tell you why this happens and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Don't panic, it's easy. Knifeware is here for you. We want you to have a better time in your kitchen. Head to the link in the description, get to our website, find all the awesome stuff we've got for sale there and we'd love it if you'd subscribe to this video channel and like all the videos you watch and even hit the notification bell and you'll never miss a video that we put out. There's good rust and there's bad rust. The difference is one will damage your knife and the other one is actually the steel protecting itself. We're gonna show you some examples. This is a brand new Fujiwara knife clad with stainless steel with a carbon steel core. It's never been used. You can see how the edge is nice and shiny. This is a Fujiwara clad with stainless steel with a carbon steel core. I use this knife all the time and you can see how it's developed a patina, this gray smoky layer of the steel here. That's an oxide layer. It's actually protecting the steel and inhibiting rust. There's another kind of rust and it's the one we want to talk the most about today because it's the bad destructive kind that's going to eat holes in the steel of the knife. It's the orange kind of rust. It's the really damaging one. And if you let something like this get too black and too dark, it'll start to actually dissolve the steel. You can treat any kind of knife badly enough to cause it to rust. Even stainless steel, semi-stainless steel. Places like a dishwasher, you can start to see that happen. To avoid letting your knife get rusty like I've done, this is what you should do. When you're finished using your knife, you can take the knife, you can wipe it off. I just have a damp sponge here and I'm removing anything that's stuck to the outside. This is what I did and then I just left it. Stupid. What I should have done was taken a dry cloth and then done one more step to just make sure there was no water sitting on the edge or the side of the blade. That way it won't rust. Sometimes if you're in a humid climate, you want to take one more step, especially if you're going to leave your knife for some sort of time, is to get a bit of camellia oil and you can coat the blade with the oil and that'll protect it. It'll keep a layer of the oil there and keeps water from touching the steel and getting rusty. And another thing you want to consider, if you do keep your knives in these blade guards, they're super handy, but it'll trap water in there. So before you put your knife in here, you really want to doubly make sure that it's nice and dry. I find one thing that's great too, is when I rinse my knife with water, I make sure I'm rinsing it with really hot water. The heat will retain in the steel. And then as you let your knife sit for a second after you've wiped it dry, it'll continue to evaporate. And then pop in your blade guard, put it in your drawer. Something I do to keep my knife dry while I'm cooking, uh, if I'm worried about the knife rusting, I'll just keep a dry cloth up on the top corner of my cutting board. It's easily there for me to grab and dry my knife off. And then I'll actually set the knife on top of it. Now it can't sit in any puddles of water. This is a really good way to avoid rust from occurring during the time you're using the knife. Now, this may seem finicky to you. It's really not that much work and it's very, it's very easy to do. You can totally do it. But if it really turns you off, especially if you think the knife looks dirty, there's all sorts of knives that are made of stainless steel. They'll be shiny as the day they were new for their entire life. If you really want a knife that's gonna stay nice and sharp and really hold its edge and be really easy to sharpen, carbon steel might be something you're looking for. And trust me, it's easy. If you do get a bit of rust on your knife, it's pretty easy if it's just a little bit, like if it happens while you're cooking and it hasn't had much time to set in, just the slightly abrasive green scrubby side of your sponge can do the work. Uh, it just put a little bit of pressure, rub it back and forth. Just be careful not to get your skin right up against the edge and you'll be fine. So you can see that's removed all the orange. There are still some dark water spots on it. So if I wanted to be a little bit more aggressive, I can use my rust eraser. So a rust eraser is just this kind of a gummy eraser feeling kind of thing. And it's just a mildly abrasive, like a little soft stone. So I can use that the same way. This can remove a bit more of the patina that you've spent time building up, but it definitely will remove any rust that's had a chance to sit. You know, if you've gone on vacation or left it for the weekend, this might be the, the answer. There you go. That's cleaned the rust up pretty nicely. Now I can just rinse the knife off and wipe it dry and get back at it. If you really are in a tight situation and you really want to polish your knife up, uh, we really like this stuff called Barkeeper's Friend. It's a, it's a non-corrosive abrasive cleaner. Uh, use it in your kitchen sink, use it in your bathroom. It's, it's really quite awesome. Actually uses the power of rhubarb to remove tarnish. So 
simply, I just take a bit of a wet corner of a sponge and uh, put a bit of the Barkeeper's Friend on it. It's a powder. And, uh, and then I can just put it on the knife and work it around. This will really quickly remove the, the tarnish because it's partially, it's abrasive and it's got some enzymes in there that will really help to lift the, the rust off the knife. You can see it's done a really great job really quickly. So I'll just wipe it dry and show you again. But yeah, there you go, Barkeeper's Friend. Uh, fantastic, you, if you burn the crap out of a pot, this is great. Cleaning your sink, it's great. Rusty knife, it's great. As I mentioned earlier, there's a stable kind of oxidization that you can develop on the side of your knife. A lot of people call it a patina. This is my 210 Morataka Kiritsuki. It's developed a really nice patina. It actually looks sort of cool. And it kind of makes me feel like a pair of broken in jeans or something. It's, it's really mine. This has happened because I've just used the knife and I've been really diligent to not let any rust happen. I just wipe the knife dry and that patina starts to happen on its own. If you wanted to learn how to, to create a patina, go to the link in the description of the video here. Go to our blog post about how to force a patina on your knife and you can make it happen faster. There you go. I fixed my rusty knife problem. I just left it overnight. Simply use a green sponge, mild abrasive, and you can get it tidied up. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it. Hit the subscription bell when you sign up to our channel. You will never miss a video. Thanks.